Mr. Lafaniere, I just wanted to ask you, uh, there's a, um, a degree of mistrust, f fairly significant degree of mistrust, especially in the last few weeks between the government and the indigenous nations. Uh, what, what would you say uh, would be the most important issues to be tackled? Uh, you, you mentioned that you don't want to get into the debate about systemic racism, but what are the concrete issues that you want to tackle immediately? But first of all, as I mentioned a bit earlier, I want a uh, open discussion with them, a respectful dialogue, and that's the reason why my first priority is going to be to call all those chiefs. Um, I've been in contact with them for the past hours. They've been sending me messages, but now we need to build that relationship just to make sure it's open. And I, I think because earlier it was mentioned about the racial profiling, how it's, how it's seen by uh, different uh, nations. I think we need to work together first. I think we need to, to t talk to each other and they will see, quite frankly, that I'm extremely reachable. Uh, they can talk to me, so we, we're going to open a, a dialogue. And now you build trust, because as you mentioned, this is an important thing. We need to build trust. We need to trust each other. Also, it won't be possible to build anything. It won't be possible to do some actions. And as I mentioned in French earlier, uh, Prime Minister, uh, I've made that loud and clear. He needs some real action, so he asked me to do some concrete action. Madame de Moore yesterday in answering a question in the legislature to Greg Kelly uh, said that her process, her handling of this file, she said it was a slower, she moved slower but in a different way and that she wanted to work with the nations and for them and to stop the colonialist attitude that people have. Um, so she had been working on on that kind of dialogue um, for months. Uh, what, um, and we know where we are at today. How are you going to get past that? But first of all, as I mentioned a bit earlier, you're going to judge me on my actions. Um, I've been in place for a few minutes now, hour. But uh, I think it's uh, in, extremely important. And as I mentioned also earlier, this is not a uh, one-man job. This is not the job of Ian Lafreniere. This is the job of all the uh, MNA because I think building a strong relationship with First Nation is so important. Um, I made uh, I, I made some results talking about the special commission. You can see that the four, uh, the 15 individuals working on that special commission have been working together. Four kids. So I think we can do the same thing for, with First Nation. We can work together because this is so important. Again, give me a few hours. I'll get back to you. But I'll be on the field and I'll do some. Uh, some real action, something that you're going to see. Um, when we talk about systemic racism, it's because we're trying to differentiate between someone, for instance, who makes a racial slur in the workplace and a policy or a, a culture that exists within the system or in the institution itself. And you mentioned, Mr. Lafreniere, uh, racial profiling, uh, which is a part of police culture that I imagine you want to change. And when you try to change something like that, when you try to change the culture of an institution, oftentimes you receive backlash. And you have comrades, you have friends in, in policing in, in that background. So my question is, if you are really serious about changing, about getting rid of racism in our institutions, are you prepared to be hated by the people, the police officers, the, the, the friends that you have? I've been a police officer for 28 years. Um, this includes 20 years plus as a person in charge of communication. Believe me, uh, I've been involved in quite a few events where officers were not proud of me. They were not happy of what I was doing. I was a person in charge. I was a, uh, a cop, an inspector. So sometimes you take a very hard decisions. Did it happen in the past? Absolutely. Was I involved in the um, all the racial profiling uh, um, uh, teaching that we've been doing? Because as you know, they've been a politic at the Montreal Police for years, uh, teaching people how not to do some racial profiling. I've been involved in that. Am I ready to face that reality? Absolutely. Absolutely. Because this is a very important measure. This is important for us, talking about racism, talking about racial profiling, talking about discrimination. Absolutely, it's important. And believe me, 
Um, most of the officers, they're not happy about that. They want to change it also. There is a few bad apples here and there. We need to correct that, and I'm, I'm more than ready to face that reality. There are um, a number of people in the First Nation, in, in First Nations communities in Quebec who say they would have preferred to see uh, someone who spent their life advocating for Indigenous rights as opposed to someone who represented the police. What is your first step or your plan of action to convince people in these communities that you can be trusted? I think they're going to judge me on my actions. And um, as you know, Denis Lamotte have been quite involved in that uh, very important topic. Denis have been working, yes, as a police officer from the ASQ, but for numerous years he was involved up north. I've been involved up north myself because, as you know, I'm also a member of the Canadian Armed Forces. I've been dealing with the Rangers. So I think we get a, um, a lot of knowledge. But again, this is, uh, this is relation, this is trust. I'm going to build that. I'm going to start that today. And people will judge me on my actions.